Hello people at Net, how's it doing? Um, yeah, as you know, a lot of people in the communities along, uh, across the whole country of Ireland, across the world too, are very anxious, very worried about what can happen next. And I said to them, and I said to the early one, take it minute by minute, day by day, second by second, um, and hour by hour. Because, you know, we can't worry about what can happen tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is a new day, a new agenda. And, you know, people might say that's, you know, a bit harsh. Some people might say it's a bit harsh. But, you know, overtaking things is no good. It's not helpful to anybody. Um, like, I know myself back in 2016, life story here. Um, but, you know, I used to overtake a lot, a lot, a lot. And I mean a lot. And I drew myself mad thinking about, um, you know, what could happen. Things like this. Like, simple things. You know, simple things turn into big issues. Um, it is a big issue we're facing. I'm not going to deny and say to people it's not a big issue. It is a very, very big issue. Um, and we all, we'll face it, we'll face it, the global community, the Irish community, everybody will face it. Um, we, we'll face it with determination. Um, you know, and worrying about it, you know, it's good to go into these things. And this is from experience, this is somebody that's experienced in this stuff. Um, I'm experienced more than any mental health professional. You know, it's better to go in, it's, you know, half of the fight is your preparedness. And, you know, not worrying about something, not being upset about something in your mind. It does take a toll. Stress and worry does take a toll on the human body. I know myself. It, you know, has damaged me still to this day. Uh, what happened in 2016. You know, I'm, you know, you can feel it. You can feel how I can feel it in my body that I'm not the same as I used to be because it was damaged, obviously. And, you know, I'm saying to people, don't, don't worry about it. Worry about here and now. Don't worry what can happen tomorrow. Because you know, tomorrow is a new agenda, tomorrow is a new problem, tomorrow brings new issues. And we face them, we face them, day by day we will face them. And, we've been, and we, half of the battle is to prepare on us, and that's to say you prepare for it. And, you know, when you prepare, you might think, oh god, this could happen, this could happen, that could happen. It could, it could, I'm not going to lie to people. Um, but your preparedness is all that matters. And you, when you're prepared for something, you know, it's half of the fight. Um, it's half of the upset. Um, and you are facing very, very tough times. And I know across the world, in Italy and Spain, I sympathise with them because it's terrible. It's terrible. And it's, you know, it's absolutely terrible that the world has to come to this. Um, and you know, I want to just say to people, you know, work with each other. Work with your community. Now, like, keep yourself positive. Always look at the positive side. No matter in the darkest, darkest situation you're in. The world is facing huge darkness and without any light. And, you know, we have to be a symbol. Uh, us young people in Ireland, and this is to young people in Ireland, we have to be a symbol. And I've seen people, you know, great you know, great young girls on the internet, you know, being great symbols, you know, to, uh, to teenagers. And, you know, uh, great. I've seen two or three of them actually, you know, I know them to see my local school. Um, and the inspirations, like, honest to God, at the moment of the time, you know, you know, do and trying to keep people positive. You know, it's a great, great skill to have, and it's a great, great ability to have to address you know our people. Um, and I just say to people, you know, keep that up. As we see the Irish, you know, look up the Irish St Patrick's Day parades across the country. People, you know, done it in their houses. People done it in their driveways. People done them in, even in the bathroom St Patrick's Day parades. And it goes to show you that you know not all hope. Like people, some I met one person saying our oh, hope is lost for humanity. You know, there's no coming back from this. And I said, you're wrong. You're wrong. And the reason why you're wrong is because they said, one thing they said, you know, the economy, the Irish economy will crash. I'm not going to lie to people, it looks very likely it will crash. But in 2008, they said all hope was lost for Ireland in news channels. Ireland will never recover. Ireland will be never back in the leagues of Europe. Well, Ireland done very well to come back. And the people of Ireland done it. The people of Ireland done it. Nobody else done it. No EU done it, nobody. We done it ourselves. Um, and we should be proud. And that should be something that we look upon. If it does, like people's lives are more important. And people's health and people's well-being is more important than any money. And nothing. And, you know, even people who are billionaires, multi-billionaires, uh, you'll get the coronavirus. And, you know, hap- you know money can't buy happiness. Money can't buy a cure. Um, but, you know... You know, at this time, we meet people who are, we meet people to be positive. We meet people to be optimistic. Uh, we have to take it day by day. And you know, and it's really, really okay. And it's okay not to you know, it's okay to talk about these issues and to talk about 
uh, challenges you're facing in your life. Because we are facing challenges at the moment, but a problem shared is a problem halved. And, you know, you share a problem to your friend, to your, even post on Facebook, post on Twitter that you're worried about it. And, you know, people will help you. And we all help each other. Um, you know, I know myself, you know, there's a good few people I know that are very anxious. And, you know, I'm keeping very, very cool. And a lot of people are crediting how cool I am keeping. Um, but, as, you know, as a, somebody that is a political activist and somebody who is, you know, over his Great Depression, you know, and somebody that, you know, is very optimistic and very positive in life because of the few people who helped me out during the, you know, back in them tough times, no, I'm very optimistic. I'm determined, and I can say with a great, great fact, and I can say to people, and I can, you know, even put my hand on my heart and say to people, you know, we will get through this. Or oh, every country in the world will get through this. And it'd be so a thing of the past, and we'd be all looking back in two or three years, and we'd be like, I don't know what the world was on about, you know. And, you know, some people might say, you know, that's been very um, naive, I suppose, people have thought. But, you know, sadly, lots of people have died in the world, and... And two people in Ireland, which is, you know, very, very, very sad um, that, it had, you know, that that had happened. And, you know, so many people have had their lives changed by this. Um, but, you know, and as I said in my many videos, the, in many videos, the fighting Irish spirit still lives in Ireland. And I'm saying to people, you know, don't overtake it. You know, be safe, be mindful. You know, be nice to people. And that's the word I'm using to do. Like, don't, people are under enough stress. Don't, you know, abuse the mind like that. Just be nice to each other. Help each other out. Because, as I said, and if you want to share a problem, even if you want to throw it in this comment section, you know, don't be afraid. I read them and I respond to you. Um, you know, if you're worried about something, I don't. I have no problem responding to people. Even on Twitter, if you feel comfortable enough, if he's what they've messaged me on Twitter and talk to me, I have no problem. I talk to you back. And I have I have no problem because I've experienced, you know, anxiety, depression. I still to this day if it's growing society and you just might be like, Oh my god, this fellow's on the YouTube and he's um sure he's full of anxiety. Which is true. Like every time you turn on a camera here, you never know what you could face. You never know what person you could face in the end uh, talking back to you. Um you never know what could happen. And that's true, and that's the same with life. It's like it's uh, uh, uncharted waters in what we're in now. But um we have to be hopeful. We have to hope for the best. We, and above all, we have to help each other. Because when we help each other, you know, everything else will fall into place. And, you know, trust them words from a wise cameraman. Um, and also, I'm going to have a tip of the uh, but Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Take care of your community. And take and take care of each other. The main, the main thing. Take care of each other. Nobody faces, you know, this coronavirus alone. Everybody stands behind you. The whole country, whole community, whole county. Nobody stands alone. The whole world stands with you. And so do we. We all stand united in a common cause against this coronavirus. And by God, we can defeat it. And by God, we can get rid of it. And we can annihilate it. But the only, thing, the only way things can work out is if we all work together. And we all be positive, we all be optimistic that we can get something done. Because we can. We can. Of course we can. You, you know, a hundred minds is more, you know, if we have 10 million minds taking off something to cure, the, you know, the quarter virus. And that's a lot of minds. That's a lot of brain power. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Be safe and have a good day. Bye.